Hi, Hannah. Thanks for joining us on Life Before the Virus. I'm glad to be here. So tell everyone, you're a junior in high school, and I haven't spoken to a young student like yourself yet on this series. So everyone wants to know how it's going and what, what it meant for your junior year. Um, it's a little like difficult to talk about because I feel like for seniors, it was different even in like seniors in college because they had like prom and graduation and maybe like they won't be able to get their freshman year of college. But for juniors, it's like a little different because like, I guess, I guess like the seniors had a little piece of their senior year first and they're just like unsure. All of these things could be like rescheduled, but for juniors, it's like ACTs and SATs and APs and all of that stuff is just like canceled. And it's like, I know that SAT is brought back to September, but that's like right when everybody starts applying for college. And if you want to retake it, like I know some of my friends haven't even taken it once, which is probably awful for them. It's just like the worry, anticipation, like even if that's going to happen in September or if there's going to be an online one, or I know that there's like an ACT still for June and all the testing centers are canceled here, but for someone in Alabama, it's still going on. So it's just like difficult, like not knowing about any of this stuff, because if you don't get to take it, then all, like your, all your plans change. Right. Like what would that mean for applying for college? So have you applied for any colleges yet? No, I'm just planning to. I've like written all my lists down and um, I guess I'm starting to write like the Common App, the essay. So, and, yeah. And you just took some ACT exams, right? Uh, I took one ACT in February, but I took some APs this week. APs. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how did that go? You were able to do the AP exam from home? Yeah. So it was, a. F so I took three APs. I took AP Physics, um, AP Lang, and AP U.S. History. Uh, history and language are like a little easier for me. And we only had to do a DBQ for a document-based question for Lang and a like rhetorical analysis for, oh no, a DBQ for Soch and uh, a rhetorical analysis for Lang. And those are pretty easy for me. And then for physics, I just had like a couple questions and you would write your, all of them, you write your answer in like a separate doc and you'd submit it. But the rules with it were really strict. Like you cannot oh, have a doc open that was shared with other people or it would, your test account is cheating. They could see you through your camera. They could hear what you're saying. Um, Wait a minute. So back up. How did this happen? They could see you through a camera as you're taking the test? Yeah. So have AP exams been online before? Um, no. So this Not was the first time? Yep. So tell us exactly how it happened. Um, I remember like when it first happened or like when school was first canceled just for like a two week period. That's what, like, my entire school was freaking out about because I go to Herrick's, so everybody's super, like, competitive and driven, and they need to get a perfect five and a, a hundred, and this isn't good enough. So everybody, that was the first thing everybody was freaking out about. And I remember, like, we were all like, well, even if it's canceled for two weeks, like, the AP is definitely going to be canceled. And they sent out, like, 20 emails about, we're doing this, we're doing this, there's security measures, like, don't even bother cheating. And over time, you just get more emails and you'd have like an AP ID. Mm -hmm. There was also like a practice um, fake test that you could take to see like what the test was really like. Um, I guess it was the same. I mean, I, all my teachers made us take it, but I don't know. I know that on the actual test day, some people couldn't submit their tests. Like you would be clicking on it and it wouldn't submit and you can't refresh the page or everything gets lost. And the like, if your Wi-Fi goes out, then your test is invalidated and you have to like retake it in June. Or I don't even know if you could retake it right on the spot. You have to apply to retake it. Mm -hmm. So they could say no, I guess. But it was like super stressful and complicated just to get all these emails and you don't know what's going on. And then the school is sending you a hundred emails about what's going on. And yeah, I remember, like, I put signs on all of my doors, like, for my family when I was taking it so that they wouldn't just barge in or, like, use the Wi-Fi or something like that. And then they videotaped you as you're taking the exam? So the camera is 
on when you're taking it, they wouldn't, I don't think they told us that, but I remember seeing like in several different places that people's tests were invalidated because like the college board would send them an email and it would be like, your test is invalidated for the following reasons. And it would be like, you asked Alexa, this, 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 like <gasps> quoted what they said. Um, I oh. always <laughs> have, I always have like a post-it or something over my camera when I'm not using it because just for whatever reason. Right. Um, but I don't know. I just, I didn't even risk like trying to cheat or anything. I mean, they said the test was open book, so I'd have like notes or like an outline next to me, but I can't imagine like having to retake the whole test after that. So you took the post-it off your camera during this exam? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And did you get your results back yet or that system is backed up now? Um, they said that we should be getting them in the beginning of June. I mean, not June, July, which is when we usually get them. But there's a whole system. They have like another system that all your tests are being sent back to your teachers. So if somebody who usually gets a two gets like a five, they could like the teacher could say that they cheated mm. or somebody who gets a five gets a two, like vice versa. They could like argue that they should have a better score. Um, which I don't know if I personally like think is a great idea because if a teacher has something against a student, like they could just say that, that this student doesn't deserve the X score or for whatever reason, or like if the teacher just doesn't really care and just clicks through all the students things. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's like the best system ever. Wow. So what has the conversation been about going back to school? Are there any summer classes or do you talk about September? Uh, yeah, I think I've gotten like 3000 emails from like the superintendent, but it's a little complicated. I guess this talk right now is that if you, we go back to school, it's everybody's wearing masks. You have to be tested for antibodies. I heard, um, I also heard that like, if we do go back, um, it's just not going to be the same at all. And that like, we could be going back for only a certain amount of days a week, or most of the learning will be online or like, all the, te all the desks will be separate, so smaller classes, which is, like, a big deal, because I guess all my classes are, like, filled with all my friends, and, like, I don't know, it's a comfort zone for some people, um, but I go to a decently large school. I guess there's, like, 1,200 kids or 1,100 kids, so it would be really different. Wow, and in addition to all this school stuff, you are a fabulous community organizer, and tell us about your work with Period. Um, so basically, I mean, I guess since the virus, it's been a little different. We've always been online. Like I always video chat with everyone because it's everybody from New York talking about like menstrual equity and period stigma that like people should just talk about their periods. And just like a simple example, I guess, is that you shouldn't have to hide a tampon in your sleeve when you go to the bathroom. You just be like, oh, I'm on my period. I have to go to the bathroom. And nobody could like deny you the like way to go to the bathroom or if you go to the bathroom, there should be like free like tampons and pads there for you. You shouldn't have to like get a quarter out because who even carries change anymore? Mm -hmm. But I guess it's been really different because it's about getting these products to menstruators who can't like are afraid to go out or have to like, especially in a time like now, like we talked about this before that um, homeless women would have to choose between like buying a meal or buying a box of tampons because it's like seven, seven, eight set or like $13 to get a right. box of tampons like when a meal is less than that um now it's even more complicated because they're buying groceries or tampons so what so, were some of the things yeah. that you were doing with period um before the virus and then what are you doing with them now um this one is like very like the biggest one we were doing was planning period day, which we started last year and it was like 300 people come. We did city hall and we all like rally for like menstrual equity and to take down the tampon tax in some States. And I have no idea what that's going to look like now. And I don't know if it's going to be virtual, but that's just not the same. Like the people who are passing by on the street won't see that. It's not going to like make the difference that it will if it was at city hall again. Mm -hmm. What are some of the other things that, that you've been coping with now during this time, being at home and not being able to see your friends? And what about your summer plans? Um, 
originally I planned like this is supposed to be like my senior summer I was so excited for the summer actually um I guess I wasn't going to camp like I usually do like to see my other camp friends and I was just like staying home for the purpose of spending time with my friends but now I guess I mean not that it's like a definite thing but I guess our summer is like basically canceled so there's like no going to the beach every day or like I just got my license I know some of my friends didn't even get their licenses now because their road tests were canceled right but luckily I got mine like way before but like it was like oh we're gonna like drive around and go to the beach and go to like my friends have like that live in the Hamptons like we can go there like it's just like disappointing to see it all just like crash down at once but I guess I'm lucky I'm lucky enough to like live in like a house with like a, I have a single mom and like um to my two older brothers so we've been actually having fun like the four of us just like hanging out together because we usually don't get to do this my older brother lives in the city and my other brother goes to the University of Delaware so um it's actually kind of nice to spend time with my family and like be home and spend time with them but yeah my summer being canceled isn't like the best news right but at least you're making a positive out of a negative mm-hmm so thank you for sharing these stories with us and we'll have to follow up with you to see how it's going as we re-enter the school time in September. Absolutely. Hopefully I'll be back in school at that time and it's not virtual learning still. Right. We'll see how it goes. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Sky. Thank you so much.